we've come to the wonderful county of Cornwall for the first classic race from Sennan Cove. We've got 1,530 birds on today and this race includes the year in Derby. But I tell you what, with this scenery we ought to pay them today. This is fantastic. This is the Pigeon Liberation site. It's a car park on the cliffs above Sennan Cove and I must say it's a nice spacious area for letting the pigeons go. It's bloody windy. And since we've been here, the weather's gone down here. It's going all foggy now. Forecast is crap tomorrow, isn't it, mate? So uh, hopefully we'll be here for a week. <laughs> uh, we're going to feed the pigeons now, anyway. Hopefully we get a race tomorrow. 250 miles at this race point. I think they want a bite, Jane. Yeah, I think they do as well. They're very hungry. This is Saturday morning, 10 o'clock, day of the race. I'm afraid we're going to hold over because the whole of the west of England's fogged out. It's bloody terrible. During the night, my old mate Tony Kane came in with 3,000 pigeons for the Central Southern Classic. Just about made it before the fog. The fog's now started to clear, and although it's too late for me to liberate now, because our pigeons are flying too far, Tony's decided to liberate the Central Southern Classic pigeons. The Central Southern Pigeons are up at 11.45 in a southwest wind. After being fogged out for two days, this is the scene at 5 o'clock on the Tuesday morning. Nice and clear and the sun coming up. I think we'll liberate today. And this is the scene at six o'clock. The sun's come out nice and bright. Blue sky's coming up. I'm going for an eight o'clock liberation. Classic pigeons are up at 8 o'clock in a west wind with sunshine on the baskets. This is one week after the race and we've come to Iver in Buckinghamshire to visit the winning loft of Norman Middleton Brothers. Good afternoon Norman. Good afternoon Keith. Welcome to Ivor in Buckinghamshire. Congratulations on winning the Classic last week, mate. What velocity was you doing? 15.68. Yeah, it was quite a quick race, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it's a very, very good race. But I didn't think the birds would be up this way. No. I thought they'd be down deeper. Yeah, with a west wind, you think they'd go right through, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. This is your Classic winner then, Norman. What family is she? She's a Starview Bussart. Her parents. Is my second open Saints National. Oh, terrific. And also UBM Combine out of Nance. First UBM Combine out of Nance, so the father is. So you raced the Bush Arts then, Norman? Yes. Tell us about one or two of your best performances. Well, the best performance was second, 
Saints National. We lost it by two yards with a sire of this end. Yeah. Uh, also, he was first UBI combined out of Nance. This is the sire of the classic wheel in Norman. Yes. Starview Bushart. Yes. And you had to retire him, didn't you? Yes. There's a, a peregrine or an orc attacked him at home and uh, I think he caught one of his eyes and when my late brother was alive. Yeah. And uh, I tried to put him back on the road again, but nah, at the end yeah. I thought it was time for him to be retired. Yeah. So he won second Oakland Saints National. Yes. And also first combine from Nance. 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 Yes. Terrific pigeon.